We like to make Mother's Day cards for all the special mums that we know, so like the grannies and grandmas and aunties. And today I'm going to be showing you how we've made a Mother's Day card. Elle and Autumn both took part in making this card. Autumn is five months and Elle is four and a half, so it's a really good card to make if you've got children of different ages, they can both do it together. And let's get straight in and I'll show you how we made it. To make our Mother's Day card, you are going to need some paint. Any colour is fine. I've popped it on a kid's plate with some cling wrap on the top to make it easy to clean up. Some paint brushes, some card, some marker pens, piece of ribbon, and I almost forgot, but you're also going to need some glue. I'd recommend getting a wet cloth ready for cleaning hands. I've used a microfiber cloth and just popped it in some hot soapy water and then just keep it beside us so that once we've done our hand painting, we can clean hands before they touch anything. We've done our activity down the floor. I just find it easier for cleanup. You can do it at a table or you can always do it on the floor, but put down some kind of matting or you could put down a tablecloth, anything just to protect your floor. I know that these paints don't stain and they're really easy to clean up so I'm not worried about covering up my flooring. So we started with Autumn because we thought she would have the shortest attention span and she would get fed up quickest so we did her first and all we did was painted her hands with a paintbrush really gently and we talked about the feel and the texture with her and then we popped her hand down on the paper and made a couple of handprints. I had my cloth to hand and I just quickly cleaned up her hands once we'd finished. We've used non-toxic paint which is suitable for babies. Next it was Elle's turn. You can let your child paint their own hand depending on their age and ability. Elle decided she wanted me to paint her hand so that she could feel me tickling her hand with the paintbrush so that's what we did and she popped her handprint on the page. So the handprints make the petals of the flower and then I took a green pen and drew on the stalks and leaves of the flower. Depending on how old your child is, they might want to do it themselves. Elle wanted me to do it so that's what I did. And then I just wrote in the card, Happy Mother's Day. You can leave it plain or put on whatever message you like. I then took the print stick and I glued on our little bow. I just took the ribbon and tied it into a very simple bow and popped it on the card. And inside the card I wrote, if grandmas were flowers, I'd pick you. And that is our Mother's Day card. We're going to give it to the girl's grandma and it's nice that it's from both of them. It's got both their handprints on it and it's something that she will be able to keep and treasure. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.